I'm Anne Wendt. I'm currently a geospatial analyst at Atkins. Um, prior to joining, I did a master's in human geography at Lund University in Sweden. But that's not the beginning of my geography journey. My favourite subject, kind of from year nine, was geography. And when I was, I picked it for an A level, and my A level teacher said to me, when deciding what to do for university, do the subject you love and that you're passionate about. Don't do what you feel you should do. Um, so I chose to study geography at Edinburgh University. Um, and it was there that I did kind of a range of physical and human modules. Um, but I tended towards the human ones as that's where my interests lie. For my bachelor's thesis, I looked at racial and gendered discourses in South London. And for this, um, I actually won the second place for the Royal Geographic Society's Population Prize 2017. So after that, I still had no idea what I wanted to do. So I decided to pursue my master's at Lund University. And for my thesis here, I looked at the tourism industry in Jamaica and I incorporated a bit of GIS, um, so looking at geographic information systems and how they can, I use that to analyse and um, visualise the data that I collected. Um, and for this bit of research, I was actually lucky enough to um, be granted my university's um, Swedish Crawford Foundation grant. Um, so my research, I got three and a half weeks fully funded in Jamaica to collect my data. I think that to have a career in GIS, you don't need to have um, lots of GIS skills before joining. Um, in my team, there are lots of people who have masters in GIS, but there are other people like myself who don't really have a lot of um, pre-experience with it. Um, so if you're interested, then I think it's about thinking where you think the GIS can go. The scope of GIS is really growing at the moment and lots of people are realising the potential it has and it's going into different areas. Um, so I think that if you're interested in thinking innovatively about how GIS can be used and where it can go, then GIS is probably for you.